Ladies and gentlemen, it is our great honor today to have Rob Smedley, the former Formula One race engineer and also former Formula One director of data services. Am I correct? Almost. Data systems. Oh dear. Okay, that's my bad. Sorry, mate. <laughs> to my million of uh, followers. <laughs> 10 million. Okay. 10 million followers. Yeah. Um, out of all cars and drivers, which is your favorite car and driver? So my favorite car that I've worked with is the 2004 Ferrari. That for me is still the most beautiful of Formula One. You know, the cars were very small, very light, 600 kilograms, super tiny cars, very, very powerful, you know, thousand brake horsepower engines like we have today, but wrapped up in, in, in a V10. Great sound, great noise, and we won everything, right? So I'm bound to love it. You know, yeah. we dominated the world championship. <laughs> And I think, therefore, if I was going to pick my, my favorite driver of all time, the best driver for lots of different reasons, uh, it has to be Michael Schumacher. He's still an idol of mine. You know, I got to work with the guy. I got to work with the guy for, for, for many, many years. Great work colleagues and friends. Being able to, to work and learn from somebody with his work ethic and his brilliance behind the wheel, both behind the wheel and in motivating the team when he's outside of the cockpit, and, and how clever he was behind the wheel in terms of being able to assimilate so much data and being able to kind of just deliver excellence every single day that he got out of bed and, and, and come to work. That was a real motivation for me and I learned a lot from him and that's why he will always remain you know, the best in my eyes. Can you break down the F1 car data into gigabytes and terabytes so that uh, the audience would know a bit? Sure, uh, it's a great question. So, so the cars themselves, each car will generate 25 gigabytes of data per race. So that's just the race. So that's from all of the data that's coming off the car, all of the tele te telemetric data that comes off the car and then is transported back at um, very high frequency via RF to the pit wall and then all of the car that is subs all of the data that is subsequently downloaded from the car. So if you then spin that up by 20 cars, that's an awful lot of data. That's something like 500 gig gigabytes um, per race, and that's for the single race. If we take the, the extension of that and how the teams actually operate and how they operate back at the factory in terms of generating data from the wind tunnel, generating data from their design studios, generating data from the simulator, from the simulation tools, then actually you're into petabytes. Um, so we are in a huge, huge numbers of data. And that's before we've got into the video, the audio video data. That's before you've got into the timing data. So I think that, you know, there's something like each race you'll generate 2.7 billion combinations of timing data between all the different loops around the track. So if you take each of the combinations that the loop, those loops can, 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 can generate, you're into more or less 3 billion combinations. Um, Formula One cars or, or the Formula One operation itself is generating something like 1.1 million data points per second during the race. So the data that we're producing is massive. It's a, it's a big data problem, right? I always say this, you know, we generated a big data problem in Formula One before big data was even a term. Yeah. Hello Hong Kong, I'm Rob Smedley and I'm here with Formula One and AWS. Um, just want to give a big shout out to all of you guys to come to the F1 um, Game Day League at the Hong Kong Summit. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if we've got developers, DevOps, scientists, data scientists, engineers, physicists, mathematicians, you name it, get yourself down there. Um, and take part in the F1 League. I am looking forward to inviting you all down to the Hong Kong Summit.